are the Steelers on a decline going into the NFL postseason? This past week against Washington, we have to give Washington some credit. Okay, their, their defense really played well. But we want to talk about that game against the Baltimore Ravens as well the week prior. I know it was Wednesday. I know it got pushed back as a COVID and it might have just messed things up. But they didn't look that, that well at all. They, they had the game in their hands, it seemed like. And then they just gave up a, a big touchdown to uh, the GOATs, Trace McSorley. I don't want to say Trace McSorley, McSorley is the, uh, the greatest quarterback of all time. But he's probably, I would say, like 15th or 20th like greatest quarterback of all time. So, like, I, I understand why they would give up that touchdown to him because he's pretty freaking good. But they almost lost that game against the Baltimore Ravens. So the question is, can they just rebound and just prevent the skid that, they're, that they've been on recently? We have to look at the remaining schedule. The four games remaining for the Pittsburgh Steelers are the Buffalo Bills this week, uh, Sunday Night Football. That's going to be a great game. The Cincinnati Bengals, the Indianapolis Colts, and the Cleveland Browns. Three of these teams have a winning record, and they're very, very good. The Bills the Colts, and the Browns. Let's say out of those three games, because we, we expect, we know anything could happen, but we expect the Bengals to to lose to the Steelers. So they got one victory. They now have 12 games won for the season. Out of the Bills, the Colts, and the Browns, which of these teams can they beat? Well, if they play the way that they've been playing recently, the last couple of games, they're going to lose to all of these teams. And there's a high possibility that they could go 12-4. and four. However, if they turn things around and if they were to uh, just say, okay, those games were outliers, we're still a very good team, they can beat the Colts. They could beat the Browns. Maybe you lose to the Bills. So let's just say out of those three games, they beat two of them. Okay, They, they beat two of those three teams. Then you sit at 13-3, and three, which sounds great, sounds amazing, but the question is, Will they get that first round by? Because there's seven teams now in each conference for the postseason run. Meaning that the Kansas City Chiefs, led by MVP favorite Patrick Mahomes, will be candidates to get that first round by. And Pittsburgh will be left out as the second seed. Facing the seventh seed, what are some teams that have the possibility of being the seventh team in the NFL? Well, there's, or in the AFC. There's the Tennessee Titans, who are very good and could upset any good team at any given point with the offense that they have. There's the Baltimore Ravens, which we see with Lamar Jackson. If you lost almost without Lamar Jackson, when you get Lamar Jackson back, it's a possibility that they could pick up a victory against the Pittsburgh Steelers because it's very hard for any team to pick up three straight victories or three games, three victories won against a division rival playing in the postseason as well. But this is history. The, the, we, this isn't the first time that we've seen this, where a team has started out hot and it kind of fizzle out. Other examples of that include the 2008 New York Giants. Started 11-1, had one loss against the Cleveland Browns. I believe it was week five, week six. 11-1, fresh off the Super Bowl. Eli Manning, great, Pro Bowl year. They finished 1-3. And they lost their first game that they played in the postseason. They had a first round bye, but they lost against the Philadelphia Eagles, who weren't that good. They were 9 6 and 1, I believe was a record. And they lost to them in the divisional round. Okay, that's just one example. Did you, the following year, 2009 Colts, they elected to sit their starters the last two games. Jim, Jim Caldwell did. They could have gone undefeated, they were 14 0. They sat out. The their starters the last two games, that ended up costing them. They lost the Super Bowl that season. The 2011 Green Bay Packers, all right, they lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. Upset victory with Kyle Orton as the quarterback. And what was, I think the score was 7-3 to three or something ridiculous like that, like a defensive game. And then they lost their first game that they played in the playoffs that year to the New York Giants, who eventually went on to win the Super Bowl. Most recently, the 2019 Baltimore Ravens. All right, they started off 2-2, two and two, had that loss against the Kansas City Chiefs in Week 3, uh, and then they ended up going 14-2. and two. They lost to the Titans in the divisional round, their first game that they played in the playoffs that season. Are you picking up on a little trend where teams that start off hot end up fizzling out the last four games, three games, whatever it may be, and they end up losing 
a game in their first their first game in the postseason that year. Now the Colts they went on to the Super Bowl, so maybe they're not a perfect example of that. But uh, this is history. We've seen this time and time again, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's easy for teams to to realize like oh it, you know for teams to pick up on how they're doing and pick up on their on their game plan and uh, maybe just some players aren't that motivated when the season you know, keeps on chugging along, but I don't know what it may be, but the Pittsburgh Steelers are right now on the cusp of being one of those teams. Because what I believe is for the Pittsburgh Steelers to avoid this skid, you've got to get the run game going. You really do. And maybe it's going to be this week with James Conner now activated against the Buffalo Bills who haven't been that good at stopping the run. Maybe it could be this week that the run game starts going. But that's the one area that you've been lacking. And I believe if the Pittsburgh Steelers were to just get that together and want to get the run game going, this offense would be better than ever. We know the passing game just it does really well, but you can't just rely on that all the time. The Steelers could have tied this game. Actually, they could have won this game by a point if they were elected or if they just ran into the end zone with Benny Snell four different times. They tried. They really did but they didn't get in. They're on the goal line. And they could have won this game 24-23, but this run game, it needs to pick up the slack. It really does to avoid another skid for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But leave your thoughts down below. What do you guys believe is going to happen for the Pittsburgh Steelers and their fate this upcoming postseason?